I estimated it should be about right up to a hundred buried there, unknown, unknown graves that haven't been identified by the system, you know. Because they lived there before white men had come there, you know. Way, way before they were burial sites. Way, way there before Captain Cook and all those people come to this country. And they could have been covered over and never been identified in those areas. I'm 19 years old and I'm not. Now, I'm going to tell you a story. North, south, east, west. You know, all, all come there as a group of people and all shared everything in that area. It was like a protected area for them because it was on a hill and you could see any dangers that was coming, you know? And they shared everything together, whatever they shared. I think they would have, would have used it as, as a site. I think they would have used it as a dancing ceremony ground. I think they would have recognised, get recognised as traditional owners for that area. They, they would have, you know, made very good use of it, uh, rather than a cemetery. Because in, in, in the first place, they used to camp there. That was like a home for them. They had somewhere to stay in that area. Because it was significant and it was, it was safe and well protected for them and others that camped with them from other areas all over the, the, the state. They feel strong, loved and strengthened by it, protected by it, and look, look after it so that they know that that spirit is there. It's been watching over them just in case something goes wrong in their life. If he's got his homeland, he should be buried back in his homeland. And they have to respect that. There's two ways of respecting this, this issue. Him working with white people and, and be attractive for the white people and helping out in those sense. And another thing, the traditional owners want him back because they believe his spirit belongs in his homeland. And that's where he should be buried, back in his homeland. And they must uphold their respectfully for the man on both sides. <laughs>